we have come to that time in the service where we pray to our great and mighty God, where we offer our intercessory prayers. Let us bow in his almighty presence. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we bow in your presence, humbly acknowledging that everything we have comes from you. You have blessed us with abundance. And Lord, we ask for those who do not have abundance, who struggle from day to day, some in our world from hour to hour. Help us to be generous, not only in spirit, but in reality. During this period of lockdown, we cannot give our money in the usual fashion via the offering bag, but we can make direct debits and standing orders to have our money transferred to help the work of Sandyford. Lord, help us to consider these options. May you continue to prosper the outreach from Sandyford. Bless the work each week that is done to ensure services, prayer meetings and Bible studies proceed unhindered via modern technology. Help each one of us to think of another and consider how we can help. It could be an email, a telephone call, an electronic meeting, a card or even a letter. Communication is a lifeline to so many in these very difficult days. Help us to be on our knees much more, praying for families, friends, work colleagues, those in our vital services who daily risk their lives to serve others, those in government who have an awesome task to try to find the answers to so many difficult questions, who seek to lead with care and compassion and yet have respected authority. Lord, we speak into this world pandemic via the voice and words of Jesus. Bless those who daily seek to serve you in the vast spectrum of life in our world today. Lord, how we cry to you for so many places battered by COVID-19. But Lord, we have also been reminded that this pandemic is not the only threat to life on our planet in these days. So many countries have vast swathes of the populations who are starving, embroiled in what seems like unending war and strife, suffering under drought conditions, poor and marginalised, lost amidst the bottom layers of every society. We cry for a lost world who, despite the raging violence and thousands of people dying, still will not bow the knee to our Lord and Saviour. As we turn much closer to home, we pray for those in our congregation who are in the midst of battles of various sorts, of illness, of the darkness of depression, of disrupted relationships, of being out of work, of being isolated, of losing loved ones, of dashed hopes, of crushed ideas. Lord, we pray for our students who are in the midst of exams, dissertations and study and long for companionship and fellowship to be able to meet with fellow students and to attend church. Lord, in your mercy, remember our missionary partners in so many different parts of the world, some seemingly well and coping, while others are under tremendous pressure. Be to them the God of all comfort and peace. Finally, Lord, bless your word as it is preached this morning and evening. 
Lord, we pray that you will use the preparations of Dave to deliver just what is required by all who listen today. Sins forgiven and lives changed and renewed under the power of the Holy Spirit working in us and through us all. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.